Thank you, David, and I'm going to pull this up just a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. I'm, uh, I don't have quite as much hair as you do on this, so I'm going to get a little bit of uh, uh, out of the sun just a bit. But let me say it's great to be here this morning, and uh, thank you, David, for uh, your leadership. And David uh, came to me, uh, gosh, it's been several years ago uh, about this project and uh, said that this is something that uh, would be helpful to this area. But, uh, of course, Nauvoo's not an uh, area that I'm not familiar with. Uh, some of you know, more. I'm from Winston County, so I think Winston County starts about a mile or less up the road here. So uh, this is almost like being in my home county, been here. In, uh, and I think actually some of Nauvoo's address is actually in Winston County. So uh, I had a good friend that lived on Coleman, and he, he always reminded me that he was born in... Uh, in Nauvoo, but he uh, his uh, his route was Route 3 Nauvoo, but it was Winston County. So uh, there is a close connection between Walker and Winston County, and especially this part of the county. And so uh, being from Haleville and growing up there, this uh, this really feels like being at home. So uh, I was uh, glad to have an opportunity to uh, try to help out in this situation. Also, uh, as David mentioned, uh, Chris Lawson uh, in my office is now my Deputy Chief of Staff. He is from here in Nauvoo. And, Chris is back here in the back with the shade zone, so if y'all you don't recognize him, but uh, he, uh, of course, uh, we talk about Nauvoo a lot, so he uh, Nauvoo is still very special to him, and he wa he wanted to be here and flew down from Washington, so he could be here this morning as well. But uh, really, it's it's uh, projects like this that uh, I'm I'm really honored to have a, a hand in working with. Just like I know uh, my uh, my colleagues on the state level. Uh, State represent the state representatives that are here, Matt Woods and Tim Wadsworth, and I know they are they enjoy having a chance to support projects like this, and they do support projects like this, and that's why they're here today. And thank you all both for for taking your time out of your schedule to be here. Uh, I know they they're going they're in session as well this week, so while I'm on my way back to Washington, they're getting ready to probably go back to Montgomery. So uh, really, this speaks volumes that uh, they would take time out of their schedule to be here. And, of course, thank you, Mayor, for your leadership here in the town. Uh, and just listening to some of the projects that you're working on, I'm very impressed with it. And thank you for your leadership and all the members of the council, that all that they do, and to work with you, Mayor, and thanks for all that. But um, the reason that this project in particular is important is because of health care being so important to everybody. I don't, you know, whether you're 9 years old or whether you're 90 years old, you have to have health care. There's, no, there's nobody who escapes that. And having a clinic like this to provide just essential health care for a community uh, is, is tremendous. And so I am, uh, when I was approached by this, like I said, when Dr. Jones approached me about this uh, uh, two or three years ago, uh, we looked at options of where the federal dollars might be available. As you know, sometimes federal dollars are available for projects, sometimes they're not. Uh, we're, we're actually uh, we're disappointed sometimes when we're trying to find dollars who can't, but sometimes we can. This was an example where there was some federal dollars that were available. So we secured, uh, I believe it was 750000 uh, to help make this project a reality. And, uh, and not only is it projects that goes for here in the state of Alabama, but it goes to rural Alabama. And someone who grew up in the rural part of Alabama, and while Haleville's a little bit bigger than Nauvoo, not much, uh, I'm very familiar with small towns and rural areas. And so that they're near and dear to my heart, and I want to make sure that uh, I do everything I can to make sure that rural America, and certainly rural Alabama, is not overlooked. So uh, that's what uh, one of my goals is in Congress, and I've hopefully been able to work on a lot of those through the years. Uh, but uh, going back to the conversation I had with Dr. Jones uh, back uh, a couple of years ago, uh, we secured the dollars, got it in the appropriation bill, and uh, what this, uh, these dollars will be used to increase primary uh, and behavioral health care to this area, increasing space to accommodate an additional primary care provider, providing for case management services, providing a, de a dedicated room to allow telehealth services to patients when primary or behavioral health care providers are not at the clinic, and also providing ADA compliant access to pharmacy services. And I mentioned the telehealth aspect of it because today, with the way that we have internet, and I know this area, the mayor's working very hard to make sure that y'all have the best internet available, 
that health care is available as well. So I'm excited about this project here. I uh, look forward to continue to work with uh, Nauvoo and with uh, you, Mayor, uh, with uh, members of the legislative delegation, uh, and uh, certainly with uh, Capstone, and uh, making sure that we can uh, make this project a reality. And excited to be here for the groundbreaking today. So again, it's an honor for me to represent Nauvoo. It's represent uh, honor for me to represent our district, Washington. So thank you all for letting me be here, and uh, look forward to the uh, when we have the uh, ribbon cutting. So thanks, David.